was The Plumes by Four Swords off of his 2013 debut album, Engravings. I know I'd listened to that back in 2013, but I didn't really uh, pay much attention to it just because I wasn't really into, I guess, more ambient stuff back then. But that was pretty cool, actually. I might actually like that more than either of the other songs we're going to listen to today. But let's find out first. Hi, my name is Bean, and you're watching Battle of the Band. We're on day six of the Juliana Barwick tournament, and that is the sixth day in the first round. We're still getting through the bye round. There's three more days in the bye round um, after today. And then we'll have our full uh, 64 songs left to run through the rest of the tournament. If you're new here and you're wondering what the Juliana Barwick tournament is, let me fill you in. We took uh, every song that Juliana Barwick has released so far, and we threw them into a single elimination style tournament. Now they're doing battle and head-to-head -head competition until one remains, and that's the very best song Juliana Barwick has released so far. Today we're going to be listening to Rain and Shine at the Lotus Pond, which was released on uh, which was released on the collaborative album uh, Freakways Volume Six. Uh, the, colla the collaboration was done with Ikui Mori, who is a Japanese drummer, electronic musician, composer, and graphic designer. Um, for some reason, I just noticed I included one collaborative album and not the other one she did, so we're just going to have to deal with that. I doubt too many people are going to be upset or even notice. And that'll be going up against Crystal Lake, which was released on her 2013 album, Nepenthe. Um, and that one is much shorter, so <laughs> I kind of feel like I might like that one more, depending on how much I'm fighting sleep during the first one here. Let's just go ahead and get into the songs. Here's Rain and Shine at the Lotus Pond. Have a drink.
All right, that was uh, interesting. Definitely um, just like ethereal vocal samples with a lot of electronic noise going over it. Um, I like the wet rain sound. That was cool. Like it sounded like electronic rain. Um, there are cool. There are some cool sounds here and there, but uh, it largely felt like kind of just like an improvisational thing. Like they just both sat down with their electronic instruments and um, played off of each other a bit. Not bad, but definitely isn't going to keep very many people's attention. But then again, I don't think ambient music is really designed to keep your attention anyway. Let's check out Crystal Lake.
right, that's an easy enough choice, really. Uh, we're just going to go ahead and give that one to Crystal Lake. It was half the length and had some interesting stuff going on in there. Both songs were pretty sci-fi feeling. Um, the bleeps and bloops in Crystal Lake were pretty nice. Uh, I don't know, kind of a callback to like the Postal Service or something. Um, but not quite. Still pretty decent, though. We've got social media if you want to talk about it. We've got Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. There's also a TikTok account if you feel like these videos are a bit too long and you'd like to see them shortened down. Check out the TikTok account. Although these ones probably won't show up on there. If I were Cameron, I wouldn't waste my time editing an ambient TikTok channel. But, you know, maybe that's what he wants to do. That's fine. <laughs> I will link the songs as well as the tournament bracket down in the description of the video. But if you look down below me here, the URL for the tournament bracket has appeared. And you can type that in any web browser and check it out that way as well. We do have a Venmo and a Cash App, and we're still accepting donations for a No Ringo, No Life button. $10 will get you one. Just make sure you include an address with that donation. Like this video if you like the video, and subscribe if you haven't already. Share this with anyone you know who might be this into ambient music that they want to see a tournament based on it. And uh, comment down below with which of these two tracks you would have chosen if it were you sitting here in the hot seat today. Thanks for listening to these very quiet tracks with me today. Hope you all have a great night, a fantastic afternoon, and a wonderful morning.